On September 30th, 2020, SecureX and SecureX Threat Response version 1.58 became generally available. And this release includes a couple of user-facing things that I wanted to put a quick video together to show you. My name is Ben Greenbaum. I'm with Cisco's Security Platform and Response Team. And let's go have a look. Starting off in the dashboard here at SecureX, and I just want to point out that the gear icon that you may be used to seeing over this area is now gone. All those functions are now under the administration menu option here. This is a minor thing, but if you're looking at older documents or an older video and they mentioned to go to the settings icon or the gear icon at top right, just know that what you need to do now instead is go over here to administration. I'm gonna go ahead and click that to show you the next thing, which are the health checks available on the integrations page. Now when you first load up your integrations page, this shows you all of the modules that you've got configured in SecureX. And for each one of these, you're going to get a health check icon that shows you if this module is properly integrated as indicated by a green check mark, or if there's some kind of problem as indicated by a red error marker and the number of errors that were encountered. And you get information about what is causing the error. So if you click on that, for example, an umbrella, I've hit the umbrella API too many times, uh, more than is allowed by my licensing level. So not great, but at least I know what I can do about this. Now, if you think back, you may have noticed that we had to watch these icons load, and that's because this is dynamically done. Every time we load this page, SecureX reaches out to all the technologies at the other end of these module configurations and makes sure that everything is working as expected. So this is an easy way to check on the fly and make sure all your modules are in fact configured correctly, or to come and find out more information about why something appears to perhaps be not. Moving on, and let's go to threat response. Here's an investigation in threat response, and there's a little bit going on in the graph over here, but if I pick any one of these things, everything else kind of fades a little bit, and this allows you to select any node in the graph and then quickly see what else is associated with that by the fact that it's brought into focus like this, it's highlighted. You could turn this behavior on and off in the menu here by turning off the focus mode checkbox. I like it, I'm gonna leave it on. Just a quick and easy way to get a little bit more intuitive information out of what can become a fairly busy and complicated relations graph. You also may have noticed that as I clicked things around over here in the relations graph, what was highlighted in the panel on the right changed. And this is called panel syncing and it's another one of the new features introduced in the 1.58 release. Everything that I click over here on the left becomes the focus of the investigation details panel on the right. I can also turn that on and off. This icon here shows that panel syncing is turned on. And in this menu, I can turn syncing off or on for each panel. And if I select something over here in the investigation details panel, it becomes the highlighted item in the relations graph to the left. Now this investigation details panel replaces what used to be called the observables panel and it includes a couple new types of information. We've got targets, which are the targets that were seen with any of the observables that we're investigating. We've got the actual investigation items, the input that we submitted to the investigative process. In this case, an external IP address and an internal IP address and related observables that you did not directly investigate but that were returned in the course of enrichment. And we've got some changes here as well. If we've got a long list of judgments or verdicts or sightings, it can be difficult to navigate that long list of intelligence that SecureX has provided us, but now we can also choose a sort order and we can actually search for sightings by specific modules in our configuration. The same is true for indicators. So to summarize, in SecureX, the gear settings icon has been moved to the administration menu item. You can now do a health check on your modules at any time simply by going to the integrations page in that administration menu. Focus mode in the relationship graph allows you to more intuitively concentrate on the observables that are related to the observable in which you are currently interested. Panel sync allows you to coordinate the selected observable or target in your investigation across all active panels at the same time with a single click. And the investigation details panel shows you much more information than the observables panel that it has replaced, including information about your targets and including information about related observables that may not have been in your investigation. 
So thank you very much. I hope that was a useful overview of the features available in SecureX and SecureX Threat Response version 1.58. If you'd like more information about SecureX and SecureX Threat Response, please visit the resources shown on the screen. And I hope that you are using SecureX and finding how much it can improve your response times and your overall security. Thank you very much and take care.